little bit of Eurovision magic for you there from Gina G. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Mike said we used to do Wet Your Whistle Wednesday, but we decided in the end it was just too early in the week. Went gone too soon. And Nathan says three part Thursday. Three part Thursdays in Daventry, Richie. Oh, brilliant. He can pop along. Uh, coming up, the quiz. And Lizzie Kaplan, this is Radio 2 on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 8 o'clock on Thursday the 27th of April. Good morning, this is Claire Ronacres. The government's outlining sweeping changes to gambling laws. A new report highlights how poor health is affecting people's personal finances and Spain is set to swelter today in up to 40 degrees. The government's to announce the biggest shake-up of gambling laws in nearly 20 years later this morning. The long-awaited review, announced three years ago, is an attempt to catch up with smartphone technology, which has seen huge changes in how people gamble or place bets. Campaigners will be disappointed if it doesn't include bans on gambling sponsorship and advertising. Liz and Charles Ritchie founded the charity Gambling With Lives after their son's addiction led to him taking his own life. Let's be really clear, advertising normalises and pushes people further and further to access really, really addictive, toxic products. 